Yo, what's up, guys? So today we're checking out Shane Gillis. Gillis? Gillis? I'm not sure. Uh, baby, you ever seen this guy? Yeah, he doesn't really look familiar to me, to be honest. But uh, this is why white people like country music. I know you like country music, baby. And I know exactly why I do. Why? Because I'm a product of the Shania Twain era, baby. <laughs> yeah, we'd be beating that in the car, like, for sure. All right, guys, this is Shane Gillis. We're going to figure out why he thinks that we like country music. Let's go. I don't know. I just moved to New York this year. And, uh, yeah, it's all right. New York's all right. It's nice. I, I like it more than I thought I would. But uh, I just, just found out I was fat. <laughs> just I'm 31. I just this year found out that I was a fat guy. I'm from a white trash enough town that this was killing it. <laughs> this is killing back home. That's our age. What's your fucking secret? I'm like, oh, I'm just hanging out, man. <laughs> it's mostly hanging out. What's your secret? <laughs> and then I don't know. I moved. Uh, I moved to Philly first. I lived in Philly for like two years. Yeah, gay birds. And then. Uh, but it was funny because I moved like from a white trash town to Philly like right during the presidential election. <laughs> Where are you going, Shane? Just, uh, <laughs> no, but it was funny because like that was a big jump. I went from like an all white trash town to then to the city where now all my new friends were like real woke, and that was like because if like if this was my hometown, someone could just walk in here in full camouflage and sit down, and you'd be like, that's a fucking good outfit. <laughs> you trying to get pussy in here tonight, dude? Come on, man. Go full camo in the cluster pass. All right. <laughs> like, everybody I grew up with listens to country music. And I don't, but I get it. Like, I understand why white people like it. You know? Like, you can relate to it. You can understand all the lyrics. You don't need to Google what a nene is. <laughs> not, I don't know if you know this. Every country song is just about exactly what a white guy. Is. <laughs> Sometimes there are some words I just don't understand, but for the most part, I get most of them. I know, I love them. Remember when people used to think that you didn't understand? What would they say to you? Your employee? He'd say like he's gonna put a fatty in there. Oh yeah. He thought you didn't know what that meant. <laughs> yeah, he would like say it openly in front of me just because he thought I didn't know what he was talking about. Florida, right? <laughs> yeah, good old Florida. At that moment. You back it up. I don't know if you know this. Every country song is just about exactly what a white guy is doing at that moment. It's like I turn the radio up. It's like, yeah, fuck <laughs> it. That's good. That's music. That's what I like. You get it? You can relate to it. I ride around. I listen to rap. That's all I listen to. I can't relate to one fucking song. <laughs> I just ride around by myself, bob my head. It's like, I beat the pussy up. <laughs> I, I, like, I don't know if I beat it up. It's like, I'm like, I'll shadow box the pussy. I've never, <laughs> never knocked it out. Everyone's Bro. talking about <laughs> this guy. <laughs> like, um, he's subtle, right? <laughs> he's like. <laughs> There's like Bill Burr funny, and then there's like Dave Chappelle funny, and then there's this guy funny. That's the thing. What? <laughs> every every comedian is just gonna be so different. I'm starting to realize. I kind of like, like this guy is like kind of like you funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I've never knocked it out. Everyone's knocking out pussies. I've never knocked it out. <laughs> Not, I'm more like Floyd Mayweather with a pussy. Very technical. <laughs> very defensive. Hey, he goes 12 rounds with it. That's all I listen to. I just ride around and listen to people brag about how good they are at sex. <laughs> I don't think I've ever made a girl make a sound with my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Except like when I lay on them at first and they're like, oh. <laughs> Did you hear that girl scream? Just, yeah. Oh, Jesus, mister. She related to that hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from <laughs> and then I moved to the city and here let me lose you again real quick what do you uh, say good? it was right during the presidential election and uh, it was funny because all my friends went from like white trash to like I said woke and they were all like they're all like did you guys all vote Democrat did anybody here vote <laughs> nobody wants to say <laughs> do you guys do you guys remember how like confident you guys were <laughs> going into that last one Oh, you remember that? A little borderline arrogant going into that. All right. Don't let it cost you again. No, I relax. Relax. I did not vote for him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> no, I, act I actually what did, did not vote do? for him, which that was tough. Look at me. 
<laughs> His whole campaign was at me. I was watching TV. He was like, are you a fucking fat idiot? I was like, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, what are we doing? <laughs> what the fuck are we doing, dude? We're building walls? Hell yeah. <laughs> I took skull out of my mouth to come up here. <laughs> and I didn't vote for Donald Trump. <laughs> makes me like the Nelson Mandela of central Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know. <laughs> you guys are all right. <laughs> I want you guys to know, though, I do have black friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's nice having black friends when the rest of your friends are just fucking goofy white guys. It's nice. You get some outside perspective, some advice. You just got to be careful of the advice you take from your black friends when it comes to, like, sex. <laughs> when you look like Uncle Buck, it doesn't. <laughs> you see how some things just wouldn't translate. Yeah. <laughs> some of the advice he gets, I can see maybe it wouldn't work. This dude is so funny, bro. I just gotta pause because I feel like they'll block the video. I mean, that's just the truth. Right, he matter. has like an awkward funniness to him. <laughs> this dude's so funny. I'm sure copyright's gonna be tough on him. Oh man. <laughs> uh, while white people like country music, Shane. How is it even correlated to that though? <laughs> <laughs> Turn the radio up. And then that was the end. It's kind of like that. The, you know, the amount of, like, references to, like, beer and stuff in country music is kind of ridiculously, like, right. is really And, like, letting there. the dogs out. It is funny how all dogs. music is so cliche. It doesn't matter what the genre is. It's so cliche. But I like it because it's relatable to me. For real. <laughs> like, I, I turn my, you know, I let my dogs out. I it go outside. I mow the lawn. <laughs> Basically, when Toby Keith passed. God bless his soul. It affected this household. This <laughs> my friend gave me when I went on a date with this chick. He was like, Hey, yo, Shane, you don't want to go too deep in the pussy. <laughs> She's always going to want the dick. <laughs> what does that even so you're, mean? You're worried about depth? <laughs> like depth is a, I didn't even know they had depth. I'm just happy to be there. You're worried about like depth is an issue? <laughs> he was like, You don't want to give her the whole dick. I'm like, yeah, That's all I have. <laughs> I've never been like halfway in and been like, oh, oh, <laughs> you gotta earn the rest of this. <laughs> Dick. That poor guy. Depth? That's crazy. I'm worried about like the noises I'm making. <laughs> like, I, just, I just sound like, like a shitty ghost the whole time. <laughs> 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 Almost done. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> depth. In my face? You ever worry about your face when you're fucking? Don't do it. Don't don't think about how dumb you look. <laughs> You'll end up looking like a fucking psycho trying to look handsome the whole just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <for normal. laughs> Trying to look handsome. It's not good. It's worse for me if I let it go. Like, if I just let my face go during sex. Like, I, I look like Brandon Dassey from Making a Murderer, the whole just... <laughs> Who's that? I ain't seen that. Girl's down there, she's like, did you do it? I'm like, I don't know. I know what the documentary is, though. Yeah. <laughs> Too funny, man. How is that related to why white people like country music? I don't know why. <laughs> All right, guys, that was our first time checking out Shane Gillis. That dude was funny, man. He definitely brought like a whole different type of energy. But right. I guess every comedian <laughs> is going to just be so different. I guess maybe to be like a world class comedian, you really have to be different. You got to right. bring something different. So I thought that was too funny, man. I feel bad for him struggling <laughs> with death and all that uh, sucks for that guy. But you know what? He was funny, man. I like the way that he like marched to his own beat up there. Like, he right. wasn't scared to slow down and just really just make it slow and awkward at points. And it just came across as so funny. And right. you thought that. I reminded you of him in certain type of ways. Yeah. Maybe off this camera. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. I didn't really get the question answered that I needed. Well, but I mean, it was like hilarious. Said, it's just, you know, I turned the key in the ignition while I was cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> Good <laughs> okay. day, I ain't bitching. <laughs> Brains falling. Oh, what, what's the? Jimmy was a good boy, meant no harm. <laughs> Jimmy had a deed to a little bitty farm. <laughs> Why have you been singing that same Jimmy country song for years? In the middle of the day, Jimmy fed cows and Jimmy stalked hay. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> All right, guys, we don't even know what to say. That jump was hilarious. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace. <laughs>